It reminded me of a team that I worked with in 2016, the Florida softball team. And I shared that story with the Gonzaga men's basketball team. The first time I met with this team, the five seniors told me that they wanted their mantra for the year to be brick by brick. This is senior day. There's five bricks, each contain their number. When they told me that, I thought of an outstanding TED talk that you can show your team. And Tim Walton, the head coach, showed his team this talk. Here's a clip of it. What motivates people are the bonds and loyalty and trust they develop between each other. What matters is the mortar, not just the bricks. And at the time they watched that video, ESPN interviewed Kirsty Merritt. And they asked her, what does this team need to do to 3 P? Here was her answer. For Florida to win another national championship, we have to unite. So we combined the ideas. And every time they left the facility, that was the message that they saw. And Tim did everything to build on that message. And one of the things that he did was he gave everyone a brick. And on one side of the brick, they wrote their name. On the other, they wrote one word that they were going to bring to the team. After everyone did that, they shared why they picked the word that they chose. And because the team really cared, it was a really emotional moment. After everyone shared the words that they chose, Tim asked the team to build a wall. That's what you're seeing in this picture. As soon as they got done building the wall, Tim had a senior come up, and he asked her to push over the wall. She's a little emotional. Again, it mattered to them. She's also a little confused. So Tim comes up and helps her. And the idea was, when we get knocked down, do we separate? When we get knocked down, do we separate? That's what Tim asked, and then everyone grabbed their bricks. They then built the wall a second time. And that was really symbolic for Gonzaga because they had climbed to number one, and they got knocked down. And they were then going to rebuild for the second time. So Tim called every bricky, that's what they call the bricklayers in, in Gainesville, and they learned how to make mortar. And the team built the wall a second time using mortar. And there was some sophistication on how they built the wall. All the seniors put their bricks on the very top because they were the most invested in the program and they had the most to lose. After they built the wall, that stayed in the locker room as a visual cue that when we get knocked down, we don't separate. Our mortar connects us. We don't separate. 